Good morning. It is week 102 and I'm back. I went on vacation. Uh, I was gone for seven days. Today is Wednesday. We left on last Wednesday. Uh, my plan was to take my stuff and try and work out while I was there. Uh, usually when we go camping, um, that happens. I'm able to uh, get a few workouts here and there, maybe video them and put them up. But this was a different camping event than our normal camping event. Usually it's just me and the wife and we go camping and just you know go out to the beach or the lake or the mountains or whatever but this time we had like multiple families so there's a multiple campsite so there was always stuff going on and uh you know what i was having fun uh got up started probably with uh you know with the little gym and coke probably around like 10 o'clock in the morning and you know carried that all the way through <laughs> i was having fun i uh, didn't eat exactly the best i uh, didn't work out at all and i drank and i had fun and i relaxed and that was the main point that we were trying to do is go out there and spend time as a family. So, you know what? I'm back and I'm trying to get back into the routine today. So all we're doing today is we are just going to do the push routine and that's it. I did my little stretch warm ups on the patio there. It is later in the morning because I did sleep in uh, today, uh, trying to catch up on some sleep that I probably missed. Uh, staying up late around the campfire, drinking and talking and having fun. Um, so we're just gonna do our little workout and get it on and see what it feels like. And then tomorrow will probably be uh, the same thing with the back and then we'll try and finish uh, Friday with uh, some ground movement because I have done no ground movement at all. So we're gonna do three days. We're gonna do push, pull and ground movement on Friday. And then uh, you know what, we'll get ready for uh, next week. Get going next week. So let's get ready to go. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the black X3 band and we're gonna do about 10 or 12 slow reps to wake up. Like I said, I have done nothing all week long uh, besides for, you know, set the campground up and pick it up and take it down because I'm the only one that can actually do that. My wife can't. So I was working a lot, moving things and doing a lot of stuff. So I was very active, but I did not do any weight lifting at all. So let's get going. Just a little wake up, like you, when you go into the gym and you sit under the bench press and you put two plates on there and you just do a bunch of warm up presses to get the muscles activated and get everything going and get your mind right. That's all we're doing here. Whew, all right, 12. Nice and easy. I do still have a little twinge up here in my neck. I don't know what that's from, whether it's a tight muscle or a pinched nerve in the neck or something. I am going to see the chiropractor later on today, so hopefully he can alleviate some of that. But it has been bothering me the past couple of days. It's like a little soreness up here, a pinched nerve, and it just kind of tingles and hurts a little bit. Still can do everything, just annoying. All right, yellow band coming up. All right, next up, yellow band, wide bar. Yeah. <sighs> 
20 with that felt super strong all the way up even to 12 where I started feeling fatigue 13 and 14 felt really good then the fatigue settled in so who feel good taking a break all right we're gonna take a little break and we're gonna do some more chest all right next up is overhead presses with the blue serious steel band the short bar we're gonna do our best on this to see how, how much the shoulder is interfering or whatever, but I'm just gonna get it done. Oh man, Whew, 17 solid pushes. And then one isometric at the end, push it up there, holding it as long as I could. And once I started giving away, slowly, slowly resisting that as long as possible. Whew. And it is hot out here already. Of course, you know, whole world is going into a heat wave, so. <sighs> All right, we got a little break and we're gonna do some triceps. All right, skull crushers and then press downs with the serious steel black band. Not good. It split on me. All right, there we go. Whew. Let's see if I can. I might have to just do press down because my back is kind of sweaty. I don't want this band slipping off. So we're gonna go with press downs. Whew. 
Oh, <laughs> triceps are nice and burned out, especially after doing the double yellow band chest press and then doing that overhead. That's okay. That's why we do the triceps at the end. So you just burn out what's left of them. Tricep is not a main muscle. It's a complementary muscle to your shoulders and your chest and everything. So finish that off. Now we got some uh, calves coming up. All right, last one for the day, calves. All right, that's it for today's get back in the routine workout after taking a full week off, going camping, eating lots of clam chowder and fish tacos, drinking lots of alcohol, Jim Beam and ginger beer or Coke, what I was drinking a lot of. For some reason, I just seem to like that mix. Uh, sometimes it's uh, camping micheladas when you're doing uh, you know, beer, Clamato, Worcestershire, some uh, tequila on top of that. And didn't do that so much this time. It just seemed like I was a Jim Beam and, and Coke kind of drink uh, weekend this weekend. Anyway, I don't think I, I didn't lose anything. Not that I have gained a whole lot. I, I know I'm looking better from what I was looked before. I'm a whole lot stronger than I was 102 weeks ago when I first started. My diet is not always the best, as I've explained many times on here. Um, you can't make yourself look fantastic unless your diet is fantastic. And my diet is only good, it's not fantastic. My workouts though are fantastic. I work out pretty damn hard when I'm doing the X3 and then when I'm doing my ground program or I'm doing my runs, my walks, my other things that I'm also doing. So I am getting a lot of exercise on my body, but the diet is not always the best. Um, disabled wife she wants to go out to mexican food italian like i said before you know what i gotta help her i gotta indulge with her and i still want to live my life i'm not training for some you know bodybuilding contest or anything i would like for this to get down a little bit more lose some more body fat would be nice um just have not had that sync up moment where i can get a good couple weeks of uh, hardcore fasting and stuff done i always seem to get ruined for some reason uh <laughs> I'll be into it and all of a sudden uh, she'll decide she wants to go go somewhere to do something and there goes uh, my fasting routine 
anyway, workouts are back on back on track. I'm feel good. I felt good. Felt a really good workout. Uh, felt good with that chest press. Oh man, I felt really good, especially after taking a week off, not doing anything and letting your body rest. That's gonna be good. Come tomorrow, we're gonna do the the pulls, uh, some pull ups, and uh, really get it going. And then Friday we'll finish off with the uh, the ground moves that I have done none of this week at all but we will just uh, continue with that regular program. We will finish legs off on Friday like we have been doing. So tomorrow is just gonna be backs and arms, and then uh, Friday will be ground moves with uh, legs at the end. So that's it, I'm back back into my routine, getting going, felt good, mentally felt good, physically felt good. Um, thanks everybody for showing up, thanks for new people that showed up. This is just my daily vlog, weekly vlog, or whenever I happen to do it of my workouts. I always work out with X3 on video. I will do a lot of my ground stuff without video because I am still a beginner at it and I look terrible. <laughs> I will post once a week at the end of the week on the stuff I've been working on that week so you can see any improvement. So I can see any improvement. Uh, it makes me go harder when I got the camera on knowing that I'm actually filming myself to blast to you know, the internet world that I'm gonna be working hard. So if I'm doing it without the camera, it doesn't seem to be working quite as hard. And I'm not taking this to the gym to work out so I can show off to everybody how, how, how massive I am or whatever else. This is to make me work harder and to show everybody that the X3 does actually work and that being consistent actually does work. Being consistently working no matter what you're doing, whether it's the X3, whether it's weights, whether it's ground moves, whether it's just all body weight with pull-ups and stuff. If you're consistent, you get out here day in and day out, you will actually make gains. I wish I would have started the pull-ups a year ago, um, but you know, hey, I'm here now and uh, the ground moves going with the pull-ups. So, I feel like I'm getting a whole lot better every time I'm doing them. So see you back here tomorrow for a pull day and uh, we'll see what we can get tomorrow. Get it done, go live your life.